I went back to square one at that point, right? Back to a career I wasn't enjoying in consulting. But lockdown was great because it meant a reset at home. And I think it was the same for all of us. We all kind of felt that there was a reset from lockdown. I did some consulting. I met some incredible people. I met some CEOs who made some awful decisions. Um, it was a great time for me to, un to have not have the pressure of what I should do next, but just to enjoy what I was doing. And I did. I had a wonderful time at home. My wife was starting to get better. And then we made a big, bold choice to move to the sun. Um, October 2021, we came and visited the South Coast in Dorset, where I am now. We fell in love with the place. We fell in love with the house. We moved pretty much immediately without really putting too much thought into what what it was going to be like. But instinctively, we knew we had to do it, right? We had to get out of the city we were in. The schools weren't great. All of these things that were in, you know, in your mind as a human being. And my wife's health was also awful. And we wanted to go somewhere. In that classic Victorian way of taking the sea air. And so we, did. we moved down here to Bridport in Dorset. I live by the sea. I've got a beautiful view. Sun's shining on my face right now. It's an incredible place. And around that same time, I had a bit of an insight. I got a coach. I paid my coach and my very first coach, Dr. Aaron Baker. Hello, Dr. Baker. An incredible coach. Um, I paid a lot of money for coaching. Um, I knew that I needed it. And Aaron absolutely understood what I needed. And so I made a huge investment. $35,000 in coaching. And that was really important for me for two things. It was an investment in myself at that point, because the last couple of years have really been investing in my family and getting them to a point where they were happy and in a safe place here in Bridport. But I'd not ever invested in me and my business properly, really. I'd kind of followed my nose. I'd not have a, had an intentionality about where I was going to go next, but I knew where I wanted to go. I'd seen these poor decisions that were being made in these large international, multinational businesses, and I didn't want that to happen anymore. I'd seen early stage CEOs with really good heart and great skills flounder. They couldn't cope with being in that top level. So I went into coaching. I started to want to help CEOs. I made that brave step to leap into the unknown of, right, I'm just going to work with CEOs. I'm not going to work with anybody else in the organization. I want to help these people because they have so much influence and power and responsibility and weight on their shoulders to do the right thing for their business and for themselves. And there's nobody really supporting them at that top level. There's nobody holding that mirror up to help. There's nobody there to, for them to say, I think I don't really know what I'm doing. And once I'm, I made that unlock in my mind, I was like, well, this is the place I need to be. Everything that had come bef from before fell into place. My psychology, my ability to make big leaps, my ability to not be tied to the right answers, but help with process, approach, skill set, and mindset to come up with that person and that business is right idea, suddenly all fell into place. And I'm thriving here, okay? I've clearly hit the point where everything's come together for me. And now that's what I do. I coach CEOs of publicly listed multinational companies to help them really get stronger impact in the world. And that's beyond the normal measures of success like share price or shareholder value. This is really that inner human success that they know they want to have. What legacy do they want to have in the world? What do they want to be known for? How do they want journalists to write about them? Most importantly of all, for all of us, what do we want people to say when we're not in the room about us? What are they saying about us when we're not there? And I am helping CEOs to project that into the world. I also do a great line of work in helping and supporting first-time CEOs to find their voice, find their skills, get to a point where they are successful really quickly and are really loving and thriving and being happy where they are. And that's the tenet of where I am now, right? The blend of family and work, the blend of the personal and the professional, the blend of shareholder value, monetary success and impact and success in the world. All of these things are blended together in the way that I approach and I work with leaders in the world. And I'm so excited about the next few years of my career, more than I've ever been before, because I know what I want to do and I know who I want to do it with. And if that's you, great, fantastic. You know what I'm about. I want to learn about what you're about. Tell me about you. Tell me about your business. Tell me about your career. Tell me about your life. I'd love to see your video back at me. Now, if you want to, you can post that video down below. If you want, you can just send me a link to that video. I want to hear your story. None of us tell our story enough. None of us get heard. 
don't worry if it's nothing like mine. There's so much gold in your backstory that you just have to mine for. All right. Thank you very much for your time and enjoy the sun. Take care. Bye-bye.